Nintendo Land After Hours, a Nintendo Land fan fiction. Why? Why did someone make this? Why? Why did you do this? I. Uh, why? It was nighttime. The stars were out. The crickets were chirping, and nothing else filled your eyes and ears. No, no nose. Nothing. Nothing with the nostrils. No lights from the shiny attractions. No crowds of people walking about. No train chugging and whistling. Nothing. It's just you and the empty place that was Nintendo Land. Hello, name? Well, you and Monita. She hovered to you. As you can see, we are closed for the night. Why have you come back? She asked you. You didn't quite figure out the answer yourself. You were never that fond of Nintendo Land. You were always out slaying demons or rescuing princesses. Maybe even smashed a few people. Smashed a, a, a few people playing play, play Watch Dogs on the Wii U, huh? the, the critical hit of Watch Dogs by Ubisoft. Yet you always find yourself returning to Nintendo Land. You don't even know why. All the experiences you can have in Nintendo Land can easily be replicated with any other trip to Hyrule, the Mushroom Kingdom, Zebes, or distant planets. What, what's Zebes? Is that, is that, is that uh, Metroid? Is that like Star Fox? I, I don't know. I, don't, I never played those games. Yet you always find yourself returning to Nintendo Land. Monita looks at you. Well, she asks. You detect something in her synthetic voice. It's not the sort of tone you're accustomed to. Monita always sounds like a teacher to you. Nothing more than a helpful tour guide. However, that's not what you hear. Instead, you heard someone who had genuine concern for you. Then it hit you. From when you first met her, to when you learned the ropes from her, to even when she was kidnapped and you had to save her, you had concern for Monita. Words are hard. You had concern for Monita yourself. This is why you always came back. For her. You were in love with Monita. Your lips instantly flew to Monita's screen. You could feel a warm buzz coming from her screen, followed by a quick zap. You reel back. What was that name? She continued to sound different from her tour guide persona. It was a, a kiss, you said. Name, you know I'm unable to give you that same affection. Even if I have lips, they're not real. You're just going to be kissing a computer screen, Monita said. You frown a bit, though you understood what she is saying. But still, I love you. Oh, no, sorry, this is Monita. But still, I love you, name, and I want to return your affection. There is one part of me that can interact with you. Oh, hey, my alarm's going off. There is one. That was, that was great. That's, that's, a, that's a great bit of lore right there. Uh, there is one part of me that can... This is great reading. That, there is one part of me that can interact with you, but the question is if you love me, she said. Of course I do. I wouldn't have kissed you otherwise, you said. Monita looked around. Even though it was closed, you know that there could be possibly... There, there could possibly be another Monita or even dark Monita lurking around. Thankfully, her sigh of relief says otherwise. Her hand reaches for your belt buckle and pops it off. You quickly realize what she wants, and you pull down your pants. Please, sit, she said. You sat on the ground. You huddled your knees a bit as you looked at your hand, looked at her hand. You worry that she might accidentally hurt you with her robot hand. She placed her hand on your lap. Don't be alarmed. You could feel that the hand was made of fine silicone. My hand was made to carry a lot of things, no matter how fragile or heavy they are. You notice that she's rubbing your lap. The massage manages to turn you on. She clasps her hand onto your dick next and gently rubs it up and down. Would you require lube? She asked. <laughs> what a considerate fuck robot. You shook your head. The motions were slow yet relaxing. It didn't feel like she was going to tear it off like you had worried about. And her grasp didn't feel like she'd strangle it anytime soon. It went like this for five minutes. Then she rubbed it faster and grabbed it tighter. Again, not to the point where your penis was in peril. What a, what a great little bit of alliteration there. Uh, five points, you know? Five points for that. As she does this, she swiveled to look at you. You smile towards her as you shed a tear. There's practically no way for you to return the favor and give her pleasure. She had no genitals to touch. Instead, you held Monita's screen. Cheek glued to her screen as you let the warmth touch your skin. Monita, I love you, you said. I love you too, name. She responded. She kept jerking you off for three minutes. You felt like you were close, but it wasn't happening. That's when you realized something. You looked to Monita after pulling yourself away from the screen. Monita, how good are you at making moaning noises? You asked. You see her eyes half closed for a moment before being wide open again. I suppose I can replicate what I heard at the Love Hotel, she said. Wait, what Love Hotel? You asked. 
You've been at Nintendo Land since it opened, and not once did you see any love hotels. We're not called Monita just because we have monitors for faces. We monitor a lot of Nintendo Land, even the more private places. Did you know that in the 1960s, Nintendo had a love hotel chain? She asked. You shook your head and pondered a bit about how that had, uh, how that had worked. As soon as you did, you hear Monita begin to moan. Ah! Uh, Oh, you can tell she's really trying to do the moans herself without having to play a recording, even if she sounded robotic. That unique voice she she had caused you to make a moan yourself. Oh, you must be close, she said. You nod. She continued to moan as you hold her. N -n name she shouted. <laughs> that was enough. After ten minutes, you came. Seaman erupted and landed on your legs in the ground where you sat. You sigh and smile. Monita had a slight giggle, like a ha, ha, ha. Well, I'll clean this me small mess, Monita said. You kiss her on the screen and get up. Thank you, Monita, for, uh, for everything, y you said as she began to clean up the cum. You walk away, a little dizzy, but otherwise okay. You made sure to put your pants on before leaving. You will never forget this night, and you will never forget the feelings that you and Monita shared on that night. So let's get on to the review. Someone saw a computer monitor with an arm in a, in a video game for the Wii U and said to themselves, Can I fuck this? Can I, can I figure out a way to fuck this? Can I, make it, can I make it possible? Can I have sex with this creature? And the answer is, I guess. Yeah, they, they went out, they, they set out to do what they wanted to do. They, they wrote a uh, fan fiction where they have sex with a uh, computer monitor. And um, I'm going to give them props for this. Uh, however, they only get points for the alliteration, everything else in this is terrible, and I hated it, and it wasn't even funny, it wasn't even really that funny, it was just kind of, uh, a thing, so, uh, five points out of a hundred, I guess. Thank you for watching, please check out my other videos, they're also things, and if you want to watch more fanfiction videos, I have a garbage truck full of them, click them in the top right hand corner. If you want to subscribe, that's also an option, and I have a Patreon that helps me uh, not die. Mm, bye.